only the elect will be given the access code to the names the true names that's for salvation I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha Bahashem Haraka Kwadash giving double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and salutes to all 144,000 elect out there the golden key the golden key right so um well, I just want to go in on this man you know uh, while doing research to come up to do this video which is a land back in of my yesterday video only the elect will be given the access code to the names this key is a nice visual here the golden key so yeah man uh, takes me back to that old classic movie Charlie and the Cho Chocolate Factory the old classic movie some old old movie man in the 70s could be could be the 70s but he won the golden ticket to um, get invited to that chocolate factory and it was only a few a select few that was invited and if you saw the movie a lot of them fell by the wayside but he prevailed he prevailed throughout all the trolls and all the difficult things obstacles to overcome but he did get an invitation that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, I don't know why I come out come out with that, but that just come to mind. But yeah, it's a similar thing. You hold that you hold shy did speak by way of a lot of illustrations. So it stands to reason why um sometimes the illustrations just pop in your head while you're doing a video. So this key just gives you gives you an idea, an image. The elect are given that key right and it's going to be um it's going to be made more and more manifest who the who the most High has chosen we know who is called for the most part abraham uh, has called us abraham is going to choose us matthew matthew 22 and 14 i think i brought that one out yesterday as well but um we want to be chosen so we want to endure all the tribulation and trials that come our way, but the elect will, because they was given the access code. The access code, a series of numbers that allow, a series of numbers or letters that allow the users to get access onto a particular place. So I just want to give this, uh, I'm just looking at this, it's a, it's a good visual. We want to be able to get that code, the serial numbers, or the key to open the door to the luck it is a very um, unique key you know that can penetrate l locks fault knocks yeah fault knocks you can you can even call it that which is ultimately salvation man so let's get into some of these precepts uh, this one i looked at yesterday matthew uh, proverbs chapters 30 and 1 uh, we broke it down Right? Who is nobody that can answer these questions, or there's nobody that can do what Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Why Shai did? Let me read it. Proverbs 30 and 4 says, Who have ascended up unto heaven, or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fist, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth? All question marks. What is his name, and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell, right? We won't go straight in. You know, I didn't didn't go into it yesterday, but I wanted to. There's a uh, certain word here. You know, the series of questions that only the Most High can do accomplish them. Right? This I forgot to, to get into. This one here, this word here. But it's all the Spirit of the Lord. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Page thirty forty five. If thou canst tell, if thou can to know, learn to know, to perceive, to perceive, right? The access code. We're talking about the access code. That just been in my mind over the um um I think I was watching a, a video, an elder's video or could have been a brother's video. But um, 
could have been a sit down of brothers actually and they was going in saying yeah only the elect are going to have the access code you right to salvation so that stuck with me and um hence i'm doing this video and i looked it up what what an access access code is we looked it went into it yesterday and when you get more and more into it as we're looking at now to perceive to find out and discern right, uh, to know by experience all these different so really we've, we've, we've made the point really this is the point I really wanted to make but um, I wanted to start off by just looking at what our access code is which I did that yesterday and who have the access code went into that yesterday now when you look into this word what is his name what is his son's name if thou canst tell the elects canst tell recognize <laughs> they're going to ones that are going to be given the admission and, and yeah we're praying right the hopeful elect you say that in humility we're praying we're hoping that we will be chosen ultimately given the access code when when it all kicks off right when this as we know the system is crumbling brick by brick every day we see signs um, i was watching the news last night they had this um they call this um extreme cold weather man extreme cold weather snow 10 foot tall right an extreme hot weather we in california um the, with the um the, with the fires and and that's all signs that we recognize the elect are going to recognize that we're in the last days the whole show i spoke about the signs to see look out for what was and the rumors of was we know that can't be refuted or denied ukraine the middle east um it goes on and on and on and we've been seeing wars witnessing wars from far back as i can remember man those old um so-called conscious songs the wailing souls war in the east war in the west all rumors of wars <laughs> oh them we was brought up on them you know that 70s 60s generation was brought up on a lot of those folk songs or conscious songs ruckus songs so we um this is not a new hearing of rumors of wars 60s the 70s the 50s even rumors of wars there's, there's always been wars right? so little skirmishes skirmishes turn into wars and then ultimately world war three which that's 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 ticking now that's ticking now already as we speak world war three is ticking right until it start until it totally explodes that ticking time bomb until it totally explodes so but the elect are perceiving, recognizing what time is. This is the time we're in the Yahushua's presence, his rule. Uh, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the Gospels talk about all of that. To be made known, to be revealed. Right? The book of Revelation is really in it. Prophecy. So, enough said on that. Known to be or become known, be revealed. The elect can't tell. Let me hear. Well, let me just hear this. Strong's H, 3045. Yadeh. Yadeh. That's how it's pronounced here. Root to know properly. To ascertain by seeing. Right. It's, it's all visually, um, visually appearing right before our eyes. Uh, even a deaf man, with, as long as he can see, he can see it. Or in the spirit, if, if you was blind, and you you would be able to see in the spirit also. To be, to, you know, we just by listening, to ascertain by seeing, use a great variety of senses. The six senses, the figuratively, literally, here you have it, man. That's it. Ascertain by seeing observation so the elects have that key who is it who is it 
And who is his son's name? Isaus can tell. We looked at that word. I wanted to look at that word. But hence we're looking at it now. Right? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. To perceive. To ascertain. And it's being revealed to the elect and the elect only right now. So that name is important. Highly important. We call upon that name. The Most High is giving his elect the key. And don't neglect the key. Otherwise you won't be able to enter. Yehoshua did speak about that. And here's just a visual here. Right, anytime you, whatever, for whatever reason, right, for whatever reason, always, always be mindful that you have the keys, the elect have the keys, you, that, that is prayer, that is that prayer, don't forget that is that prayer, the golden, right, was, so I tapped in that, uh, the golden key spiritually meaning, when you go into it, he actually tells you, it's prayer, right? It's actually prayer. Right? The golden key prayer and uh, obedience can unlock. And it goes on. See, even um, Google, a broken clock gets it right. You know, twice a day, right? Prayer and obedience can unlock your potential. Here you have it, man. Yeah. Let's see what it says. The golden key remains a powerful, inspirational work with a profound message of truth. This timeless spiritual uh, pamphlet was written by, right, we're just going to take out the bones here and yam the meat, whoever this person is here, and contain just one central thought. Stop thinking about the difficulty, whatever it is, and think about... We're going to call him Yehoah, God. He is, he is to be. Yeah, think about God instead. Because he has the one, he's the one that's given us the key. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Here you have it, Akim. And why doing this research? I came up with, the, with that image there. So it's the key. Right, prayer, the key is prayer and obedience that's going to give you the open up your potential to salvation, man. Stick into that. Let's get back to the precepts. Uh, Proverbs chapters 10, 18 and 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is safe. Right, that is where the salvation is. That is where the real protection it's just getting to this one and two words here now tower right the tower elevated stage there you have the elevated stage pulpit mid dull something like that mid dull A bed of flowers, castle, flower tower. There you have it, castle. So yeah, castles were important, especially in the um, you know, those days, Ag Anglo-Saxon days, wars. Uh, what comes to mind is Joshua. Uh, we had when he had to um, march against the um, he had to go march against the the tower, that tower. And um, blow, blow the trumpet. It was about six times. Blow the trumpet. Yeah, the walls of Jericho. That's it. The walls of Jericho. And eventually the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. That was a tower. But this ain't going to be compared to now. This ain't going to come tumbling down. The tower, the name of the Lord. Stand forever. Tower. Castle. Right, a lot of the castles were overthrew of the enemies. But when it came to our towers... The name of the Lord hasn't taken an L, and it will never take an L. So don't forget to call upon the name. That's the importance of the name. We looked upon the, the, the tower. As a matter of fact, let me just see something else there in the Hebrew. Migdal. Try it one more time. Here it is. Here, here it is. Strong's 8, 4026. 
Migdal. All right. One more. And he's safe. H7682. To be high, be inacceptably high. Yeah, well, ultimately, in the chariots, you won't be higher. You won't be you won't be looking down upon this place being destroyed. That um, that, that thermal heat, man, when it takes, when it takes, um, when it takes, when it kicks in, that thermal heat, the missiles, right? And we're looking through the glass um, floor of the chariot. I'm just visualizing right now. Seeing the the heat sea burn up the, the all the wicked, all the wicked, the Goyim nations, the wicked of our own people and people some of us know or don't know, but just seeing that be the, this kingdom being destroyed is gonna be something. But like I say, yeah, as it says here to be high. <laughs> we're gonna be high in the spirit, but that's for sure. But ultimately we're gonna be flying up in the in the out, uh, out of space. That 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 heaven. Out of space, looking down, man. You know, I don't, it most I might let it be a long drawn out thing. It might be a long drawn out thing, so that we can really um take it in. That'd be beautiful, right? To be exalted of Yahweh. Wow, oh, you can't make this up, All right? That the uh, the word safe. Looked at the word tower, castle, right? Set up on high. Now we're looking at the word safe. To be high, <laughs> to be high. Uh, we're gonna be feeling high in the spirit. We ain't gonna need no stimulants either. No stimulants like <laughs> some people take. People are getting messed up over this um this crisis, the fentanyl crisis, the opioid crisis, and all these um other um really devastating drugs. They're saying they're saying this is a leading cause of death. With, with Edomites particularly over there in America, again the news mentioned this. The lead, the leading cause of death is fentanyl now, and all those opioids that are being smuggled into America, and they they're saying this um it's hard for them to um to keep track of it all. There's a, there's a big store place where it's you know where they got all these um ways of testing testing it. They they're catching it, but um. It's just store. It's just stores and stores of it. But the, it's a leading cause of death between 18 and 45 year olds Edomites over there in America. You know, other other tribes too, but other tribes too, but mainly the Edomites are catching it with the fentanyl crisis. So they want to get so high, they get become addicted, and then ultimately they get get overdosed on it. Addicted and then overdosed on it, which is all the judgment of the Most High anyway. Spirits created for vengeance, man. So they need stimulants to get them high, right? All these wicked, the wicked nations and then our own people, the wicked of our own people, the sellouts and the E nations, they need stimulants and class A drugs. Yashu Allah, get high in the spirit of the Lord. Exalt, exalt ineffectively, right? There you have it. Get high in the spirit to the Lord. Sig Sugab. Hmm. Get high in the spirit to the Lord. Lofty. Lofty. Safe. Strong. We have it. Literally. Figuratively. Exalt. To be excellent. And yeah, like I say, the access code we got now, what we have now, what's been revealed to us now. It's just a small it's just a small bit of it but that's giving us a, a sense of safety you know I mentioned it yesterday we're gonna be given total access when we get the new bodies the total access right when we are free from the enslavement to this body the corruption of this body chains of darkness we're going to be free from the flesh, man. So we're going to be opened up to everything that the Most High wants to reveal to us. So that we shall see him as he, Yehovah Shai says in John, we shall see him as he is. So we're going to be, um, we ain't going to need no stimulants at no time at all. 
none of these um abominable foods all right i ain't talking about the um the unlawful foods i'm talking about even even you, you got these so-called um organic foods which we know you gotta just gotta use discretion with everything you eat you gotta just use discretion and wisdom and even with all of that you gotta bless your food as well on top of that but um we have to suffer this uh, defiled food right now ezekiel 4 went into that you gotta suffer all the judgments of deuteronomy 28 the def and also ezekiel 4 the defiled foods and all the above because we're in the chains of darkness we're, we're, we're serving our sentence for um for the sins of our forefathers which were us and not heeding to the laws of moses and uh, we ain't complaining but we are talking and crying out to the lord yahweh shimmy right in sincerity and in truth and through that he won't give us the access code to the ultimate salvation deliverance out of this place before the missiles hit and the elect ain't going to take the MOTB they ain't going to take that they're going to refuse that enough said on that so we don't need stimulants set on high we're going to be set on high above all of that free from slavement to sin giving the new bodies that's what we're looking forward to and I can't stress it enough I can't stress it enough so that's it yeah excellent to be excellent lofty to be safe safe up on high to be strong safe up on high oh well, that just made me think about those chariots brothers been guiding about the chariots could be one massive chariot or or other small little chariots but um by the signs of it, it could be one big chariot and it's gonna be um whatever it is i, I we ain't gonna complain anyway we're gonna be joyful just to be out of this place delivered out of this place the righteous so we looked at this tower the word tower and safe tower is like a castle set on high safe is very similar set on high uh lofty exalted on high looked at that word now we want to go to righteous h6662 righteous right there yeah, we just righteous yeah right, we're going to be and it's that government with now nah, the government is coming to my mind now i'm thinking about the government it's going to be ruled by that by yahweh shai right under um over king david and under king david the 145 and thousand going to be that righteous government ruling under yahweh in righteousness and in justice and the animals are going to be free and be able to be left alone to just be roaming around right in their own spirit right the snake going to be uh, the cock the cockatrust <laughs> i'm saying it right the little boy going to be able to play with it the lion the cockatrust which is a form of serpent there ain't going to be none of that fear they ain't, they ain't, they're, 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 the animals ain't going to fear us and we ain't going to need to fear them right it's gonna be um it's gonna be lawful it's gonna be ruled by that righteous government and it's gonna be a righteous vibration everywhere now now i'm really thinking about it the trees are gonna be rejoicing it talks about that also in um isaiah 14 the trees are gonna be rejoicing because there ain't gonna be no failure to cut them down and all the beautiful trees man man those trees are something else man i'll tell you something little taste of what we get now with that talking about the argyle wood tree which gives off that beautiful uh, scent perfume scent the um all the all, all the above the pine tree the cedar tree the cedar uh, wood tree of lebanon you know you got the fruit trees oh boy stop it stop it so that righteousness is going to bring a whole leap of things coming down the pipe the mere fact that it's ruled in righteousness total total contrast to this wicked kingdom all right so we won't end off there's a whole heap of precepts i can get into about um how your whole way a whole shy has given his elect the key all right to salvation there's a holy but i'm gonna just keep it 
TV um, short TV um, video short right so the righteous runneth unto that name there you have it the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth unto it and is safe and we went into that couple of words here now we're going to end off with a couple of precepts here Yahweh Shai is the light of the world John 8 and 12 says then spoke Yahweh Shai again unto them saying I am the light of the world and he that followeth me shall not shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of, of life right so there you have it man yeah we looked at that yeah, that image there just gives me a nice vibe great i just like to see the image there really the key or the light following him the access code or a series of numbers or letters that a select few may enter the word access code so i want to look at this word here yeah, uh, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of the world. Make this one quick, straight, simple, and plain. Light. G58, uh, 5457. You have it. Light heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth boy <laughs> uh, star oh yeah chariots chariots we we see those those chariots that those chariots my favorite one is talking about heavenly lights my favorite one is that the bell color which is like a um marine aquamarine um, turquoise green blue mixed together aquamarine blue blue and Blue and green mixed together, or bow described in the scriptures as bow color. I see that. I saw it the other night over the hats, man. Still seeing them chariots, and I'm still um I'm still in awe of them, right? Surround angels when they appear on earth. Uh, Psalms on Psalms 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear of them, fear of them, that fear of Him. The angels fire because it is light and shade light. Oh, the angels can uh, they can appear as fire too. You saw when the angels visited um Samson's parents in Judges, Judges thirteen. The angels appeared in uh, appeared and revealed the son that they're gonna have, Samson, uh, the parents of Samson, and um, spoke to the father and um said that yeah you're gonna have a son and um you ain't gonna have no um you know it's gonna be a nazarite right and i'm um, gonna be gonna have you gonna be have that supernatural strength and after you finish breaking it down the revelation of their the son you know, after you finish breaking it down the angel jumped into the fire and just <laughs> It weren't no miracle. Uh, it weren't no magic trick either. It was a miracle. It wasn't a magic trick or an illusion. It just the angel jumped in out of the fire and just whiffed off, disappeared into the flames. So yeah, they can appear such ways, angels. Yeah, there and there are fire, and we are fires. We're angels in, in in bodies too. We're angels in the flesh. The elect also are angels in the flesh. Yeah. And when we, we're going to be free, once we're free from the flesh, it goes into that in Romans, the change of darkness. We won't, most I won't give us those new bodies, those extraterrestrial bodies. First Corinthians 15 goes into that. We're going to be extraterrestrials, man, being able to travel, you know, the other distant planets, do things, angelic things, but also be able to be um, of the earth as well and take part in earthly things like eating. You understand normal things like dealing with women so once we're free from the chains of darkness we're going to be extraterrestrial versatile of the earth and of the heaven extra extra extraterrestrial of earth and of heaven too we have to do what the angels can do but also do what the earthly people can do uh, you know, what's the word do um um 
versatility in the spirit of the Lord light brightness of the lamp God is the light because light has the extreme delicate subtle pure brilliant quality uh, or another word could be truth right yeah because truth is light and lies is dark lies is black truth is light so Yehoshua described himself as the light of the world which of the world which is the truth in a filthy and corrupt dark world full of lies the light the truth would be light spiritually purity that which is exposed in the view of all openly you have it powerful understanding moral and spiritual truth I've got one more precept and we will end off there you have it, okay. The whole shy is the light of the world. He spoke again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light. The light of life. Oh man, I've got to get back in there. One more. I don't want to miss it because then I might end up having to do another part two and getting into it. But um, the light of life. And if I do come back and do uh, more when any, as far as I'm doing any bit more, that's all right anyway. That's all right too. Speaking of your whole shy, that's what I've been. Um, that's our job. Speaking of salvation, prophecy, past, present, and future, held in the names, your whole way I was shy. But if thou canst tell, that's our job. You know, right? Abu Razar, we those men, right? right? Life of life. G2222. So if I do end up coming back for any reason, that's alright too. Right? State of one who possessed vitality or is an animate every living soul. State of one who possessed of vitality. Oh, enough said on that. What does it say in the Hebrew? Oh, alright. There you have it. In the Hebrew. That's it. I not I need not I need not say more. Vital spirit, the breath. So Yahusha is the light of life, and we're gonna to continue to herald the name that name Yahweh Why Yahusha, man? If thou canst tell, you right. So here's another precept here: healing the man born blind, John chapters nine and uh, verse one. We will take bring out a couple of these verses here and Yehoshai passed by he saw and as Yehoshai passed by he saw a man which was blind from his birth and the disciples asked him saying master who did sin this man or his parents that he was born blind and Yehoshai answered neither hath this man sinned nor his parents but he that but uh, but that the work of Yehovah should be made manifest in him you get the, you get the point there it wasn't the man that sinned neither had uh, neither this man sinned nor his parents but that the works of God should be made manifest in him there you have it I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day the night cometh when no man can work here's the point again john 9 and 5 as long as i am the, i am in the world i am the light of the world here you have it man the whole shy is the light of the world and we looked at some of these um visuals the key right the key which is the uh, the elect are going to be given that key the elect the 144,000 or the multitude that key which is the key to salvation and described here as the light or the access code I went into that yesterday a series of numbers or letters that only a select few can enter access code only a select few has has or serial numbers or keys 
all very similar serial numbers access codes and we all have to you know for if you have a computer you have those things or keys right which was more common back in the days <laughs> but i'm um, all very similar yeah and light as light I, I, as long as i am in the world i am the light light and that's the access code to the names and to salvation and he's given us a certain certain um uh, per perception right now what we need to know that we can perceive now and it's going to open up my mind to much on a greater level king solomon went into all of that wisdom of solomon and in the books of proverbs and sarak and also in ecclesiastes a lot of you know those pre a lot of those scriptures go into the wisdoms right the wisdom and understanding of um the understanding of man the psychology of man to understand botany the plants to understand the the way that the the world is made right the, uh, the the seasons the stars the moon the sun the moon and the stars and all the above most i won't open up to that complete understanding which what is given us now we're happy to be given that at this point but it's just the beginning this movie will get more and more dramatic john chapters 9 and 39 says and yehosh i said for judgment i am come unto this world that they which see not might that they <laughs> I've got to get back to doing that again. Always remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. <laughs> well, that's something that's um is very is very um very beautiful thing to do. Right? It helps you to take your time and reflect and be mindful of what you're doing. Right? Because we're not reading this. It's not an old race. The race is not about. It's not um. The race is not for the swift, but who can endure it? So for those that are into any form of fitness, it's not about getting through it as quick as you can. It's about doing it, slowing it down. In some cases, you've got to slow it down. Take your time, just like when you're yamming a good food or you're drinking a good yayan. Same thing, same principles apply. It's not about gulping it down quick. If you want to get the best out of it, it could be yayan, good yayan. It could be good good few food you understand top good food classy food you always take your time and it's, it's also good for the digestion too too to take your time with it and also when you deal with your woman too yes <laughs> when you deal with your woman too you take your time with it you know so um i'll say that to say yeah it does it does make a difference when you take your time and you breathe right some words of wisdom right there so again i'm going to read it again and this time i'm going to take my time john chapters 9 and 39 says and yahweh said for judgment i am come unto this world that they which see not might see right that they which see not might see and that they which see might be made blind <laughs> see that as a riddle that's an um, illustration. And it's, the elect are going to get it. The elect are going to get that. Right? For those that see not, make see. Right? And they're talking about the elect. You understand? Right? But for those who are wicked and malicious, right, of this world, you're going to blind them. Ultimately, you're going to blind them. They're going to be destroyed. Right? That's their judgment. They're going to be destroyed because it's a judgment. And for those of us who are sincere, pure, elect for us when we were in this world we were blind the most eyes opened up our eyes so that's in effect right now as we speak right that they which see not might see that's the elect we were once blind no i ain't gonna sing that i ain't gonna sing that song <laughs> but um but they which were once blind may see some of those songs that we might have been singing in the schools but now we see so the elect were once in the world doing our form of folly. Brothers going into that, but now we see we have this word, we have the names, 
right? Who is his who is his names and who is his son's name? If thou canst tell, we can perceive. So now we see, and they that which see might be made blind. All these high learned people with all these um you know these um high educations, right? Master degree, you know all these um all these degrees what they have, right? Uh, these colleges, um, Stan Sanford and all these colleges, Oxford and Cambridge, you know, all these colleges over there in the, the States, you know, what was that, uh, Euro and all these colleges. But, um, you know what I'm saying. These people won't be made blind. Yeah, they're doing a lot. You know, they're, they're, wise, they're, they're wise in wickedness. Let me just say it like that. The ease and also the ease too. Don't forget them. They're, they're, they're quick to do wickedness and our own people too. And all the other Goyim nations. They're quick to do wickedness. They're wise to wickedness. But when it comes to serving the Lord, they're blind. So the fact that they're blind, they don't want to serve the Lord, the most are going to give them blindness in the spirit of the Lord and then ultimately delete, delete them. Right? And he's talking about here, you know, the, those days it were the Pharisees. Yeah, those days it was the Pharisees. And you got the Pharisees there back here doing the same thing. That's why they don't want to use the name. Right? You know these other alphabet um uh churches, camps. They're they're blind to the name, they don't want to use the name. The most took the name from them anyway. Whether they took a bag or they're just ignorant of it, the most I took the name from them. So it's blind them. But the elect can perceive. So the water you how the water you was shy. The Wadi Yehoah, the Wadi Yehoshah. This here's another precept that got, actually goes into that and breaks it down. Uh, Matthew chapter seven twenty one says, "Here we have it here that breaks it down. Why he gonna make the ones that can see blind, and for those that can't, couldn't see at once upon a time, now can see. He's elect. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter unto the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will." Of my Father which is in heaven, right? There you have it, man. There you have it, right? The elect are going to do the will of the Father, but the wicked going to be cut off. Reading on, many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Yeah, they're gonna. It's a lot of them know the name. Like I say, a lot of them say the name. They say the name. They know the name. Then they say the name. Right, and it goes on. They prophesy in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, yeah. Doing all form of powerful miracles. Right, yeah. Um Moses came up came up against those um jammies and jambries, those soothsayers in th those days. They had power, and that was demonstrated when Moses was going backward and forward with them. Pharaoh versus Moses and the and the soothsayers of, of those days. That was demonstrated, and today we see the same. The Joe Osteen and T. D. Jakes, and they're being exposed now. Anyway, they're coming tumbling down, right? They're coming tumbling down because the most are bringing them down. Have cast out devils, right? So yeah, they have a um, a massive supporting. They're able to get money, right? To do all forms of tr tricks. A lot of it is mirages and camera tricks anyway illusions right when you see these um these um evangelizers a lot of it is tricks anyway but they say they can heal people whether they are or not and even if they were it was on the left hand side you know with the help of the demons but a lot of it is actually tricks um pre-programmed or rehearsed in the background and then, and then they come forward and they act like yeah, I was sick. I've been in a wheelchair for such a long time. Now I'm walking. A lot of it is just tricks and illusions anyway. But even if it were true, it's demons giving them power to do it. Have cast out devils and in thy name done many powerful works. So that they can fool. They think they're doing that. But they ain't going to fool the elect. Right? And then will I confess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity, right? So they have the name, they do miracles via the name, they do all form of, they got holy for support, 
millions that, that um, Joe Osteen with his big church, um, that massive church, you have thousands and thousands and thousands, and he's got a lot of money, you know, that uh, he's getting them, they, they must pay their tithes, so he's got a lot of money, and a lot of things are coming out about that dude, that false prophet, so, but then he's going to say, and then will I confess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. One word, one word, I must look it up. Word G458. So despite it, what they can do, how they appear, right? How much attendance they may have in their Christian churches, the condition of of without law because of ignorant of it, Viol because of violent iniquity. We're looking at the word iniquity, contempt, violation of law, iniquity, wickedness. So all these false prophets, T.D. Jakes, we know what happened to uh, Eddie Long, what, what came out about him, and then the Most High judged him. And we're hearing about um, Joe Osteen and many others too, Creflo Dollar and all of these. We're gonna hear, we're gonna hear what that their outcome won't be. Most High saying to them, "Get away from me! I never knew you, you workers of lawlessness, workers of iniquity, violation of law." Do you have it? unrighteous law unrighteous so that's what they are yeah wickedness most are saying call them wicked so enough said on that it's a mouthful to pronounce that but here you have it the water to Yahweh Shemesha put me to put the spirit on me once again to do this video only the elect have the access code only the elect have the access code or the key or the light of the world representing your whole shy right what is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell on the elects gonna be given that ultimately to get out of this place when this place is putting in the furnace of fire that hot furnace of fire right the um, intercontinental intercontinental if I'm saying it right, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Only the elect gonna be given that key for salvation, right? And that's getting up in the chariots before that time come. Abarazar, the whole shy, right? That key we looked at it just now. John eight and twelve says, then spoke the whole shy again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. Right, going to be have the truth of the light, man. Salvation ultimately, but shall have the light of life. Our praises to Yahushua Mashiach once again. The water to Yahushua Mashiach for me, the spirit of me to do this video, and to all the sincere elect out there. Shalom. Until the next one, we are.